Hello friends, I am Upma Singh, working as a lecturer at Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on free radicals. Now free radicals, as the name indicates, they are free in nature. And these are the reactive intermediates produced in the reaction. They are produced in the reaction and consumed in between the reaction. And they play a vital role in organic chemistry. The first free radical is triphenyl methyl free radical. This was first discovered by Moses Gumberg in 1900. Now the free radicals, these are the unshared pair of electrons which lies on a species. It can be an atom or it can be an anion. Now for example, Cl2. This is a molecule of chlorine. It undergoes photochemical reduction and get dissociated into these two free radicals. Free radicals, they are produced when a covalent bond, it undergoes homolytic cleavage. Now here in chlorine, there lies two electrons. They are bonded to the two electrons. Homolytic means equal distribution of electron takes place. Here one electron goes to this chlorine, another electron goes to this chlorine. Ultimately both of them is having one one electron. This is called as homolytic cleavage. Now the question arises what are covalent bonds? Covalent bonds these are formed by the sharing of electrons in a species. When a species shared electron that becomes a covalent bond. And when a homolytic cleavage occurs mean equal distribution of electron takes place then at the, at the time free radicals they are produced. These free radical, this is uh, the formation of free radical, this is a chain process, a long chain process and it takes place in three steps, initiation, propagation and termination. The first one is initiation, now as the name indicates initiate means the start, here the reaction starts as I have depicted in this example chlorine it get dissociated into two free radicals. This is the chain initiation means the reaction starts here. Then the second step is the propagation. Propagation means the reaction proceeds. This is an exothermic reaction. Here the number of free radicals they remain the same. In the initiation step the number of free radical that increases. And the last one is chain termination step. The termination means the reaction stops here. Here the number of free radicals that decreases. Actually what happens the free radicals that combine together to form a stable atom or to form a stable species and hence the reaction stops here. For example, I am having these two chlorine, uh, these two chlorine free radicals they combine together form a bond between them and hence form a molecule of chlorine. This solve with the free radicals. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much 